TJP, it is now time for our lightning round. So here's how it's going to work. I'm going to ask you 10 questions, 10 random questions about yourself, and you just go ahead and answer them however you feel. It's usually a fun way for people to get to know you and just overall a good time. So guys, are we ready for a lightning round with TJP? Here we go. Question number one, what's the longest amount of time you have gone nonstop playing video games? Oh, how, what's a normal uh, span of like sunlight in a day? <laughs> well, we're talking about like 24 hours, 12, like oh, God. 24 hours full day. Have you done 24 hours? Uh, no, I remember specifically as a kid waking up and having a piece of toast for breakfast. It was really early in the morning sitting down and turning on my Nintendo. I think it was still regular Nintendo at the time. Might've been Super NES, I'm not sure. Uh, and I played until sunset. And I remember thinking, God, I'm getting up finally because I'm starving and the sun has gone down. And that's how long I played from like, I don't know, 8 a.m. until like <laughs> 5 p.m. <laughs> so that's awesome. sometimes it can be really long, yeah. You're like, where did the whole day go, man? The entire, the entire day was gone. <laughs> Question number two, name your favorite fictional character. This oh, can be from anywhere. Yeah, Deadpool, for sure. Nice, nice. Deadpool. He's super funny. Yeah. Question number three, what would you say is your spirit animal? Uh, Deadpool, for sure. Um, <laughs> no, I don't know. I, uh, I have two baby pigs downstairs, uh, so I, I feel like they're a pretty good match for me. You know, I, I feel like people see, you know, what they see in me, like, in, like, a creative fashion or like you know what they see on screen and they think like oh he's he's uh, this dynamic maybe exciting sort of outgoing person and um whatever 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 i am like the biggest loafer ever and, <laughs> and i love my baby pigs for that reason because they, they have such the same personality i just <laughs> I, I'm such a slug around the house and i feel like they they match my energy pretty well i get excited when i want to eat that's it. So <laughs> I almost they, feel like they, if you didn't say your piggies, they would sort of be offended. Like we're the animal in your home and we're not your spirit well, animal. The, you know, the thing is that they, they're aware that they're sort of famous. So they, they know that people know them, especially the girl. She's she soaks it up. So, you know, they, 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 would, they would let me hear it if, if, <laughs> I felt, if they felt like I, I knocked them down a peg. She's hey. like, you have a diva in your house, okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, question number four, what is your most used emoji? Oh, man. That's not safe for work. Uh... Oh, <laughs> you only left my mind there to wonder. <laughs> no, I, I prob probably the, uh, the, the blushing kiss face. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, that's probably that, the pretty much 90% of my texts all go to, to my girl. And, and uh, that's the most common one I send because uh, we're const I'm constantly traveling. And so we're not always in the same place at the same time. Um, so uh, oftentimes I, I need to send her cute things 24 seven to make sure that she <laughs> gets the attention that she needs. Um, You're like, don't forget that's, that's about me while I'm gone. <laughs> oh, I mean, I, she's definitely swinging down to, to, to get to me. So <laughs> I definitely need to make sure she doesn't forget about me. <laughs> awesome. Question number five, what was your favorite toy as a kid? Probably be a tie between the Ecto-1 Ghostbusters car or uh, probably like my WWF action figures. You know, I had like all the old like spring loaded move action stuff. So probably that, actually maybe Ninja Turtles. Nice. I'd probably go nice. Ninja Turtles. I was a I big Turtles kid. I love that. Uh, question number six: If you owned your own island, what would you call it? Tatooine, maybe. What well, um, was that? Tatooine. Yeah. Nice. Tat Tatooine. Yeah. Oh, okay. My, uh, my 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 alternate answer to your to I think it was your first question probably would have been Anakin Skywalker as far as fictional characters, and so I love I love that universe and that lore and i grew up in los angeles so you know i grew up you know out west in the desert so to speak and i've always been sort of reclusive a little bit so i feel like you know if i had my own island or my own planet it would be it would be tattooing just my own little corner of the galaxy that people would be transient and come visit and 
be up to no good and then leave. That's awesome. That's the dream. All right. That's the dream. <laughs> Especially right now. Oh, yeah. Qu question number seven. <laughs> What's your go to dance move on the dance floor? Well, if I say if I say the dab, then 100,000 internet wrestling fans will flame me to death on Twitter. So I'm not going to say <laughs> even though everyone secretly uh, does it. OK, everyone secretly does it, even if they're not a fan. <laughs> Um, I don't like, I, I don't know what it would be called. I went, I mean, being a Filipino kid, especially growing up, uh, in Filipino families and being there like on holidays and stuff. And I often danced for quarters for my Filipino aunts and uncles. That's just the nice. way it is in, in, <laughs> in Filipino families. And, uh, so I used to, to do a little break dancing when I was a kid and there's like this little like leg tail whip thing. It's like a break dancing thing. I've done it a couple times just for fun, like in the ring, just to be funny. But uh, probably that thing. I don't know what it's called, but yeah, just a little swirly thing. We'll, ta we'll take it. We'll take it as an answer. Uh, question number eight: <laughs> If it rained food, what food item do you wish fell from the sky? Everyone's dream. Ah, uh, man. I guess. Uh, all things equal, if uh, food can safely transport through the air and not be spoiled and hit the ground just fine. And I guess we're thinking 10 second rule here, but uh, pizza, I'd probably go pizza. It's my go-to for anything. If I, if I want something that I just, I want, and it's not like I gotta eat this cause I'm trying to be like healthy, hardworking superstar guy, um, then it's definitely pizza. When, when I can just choose, it's always pizza. Perfect answer. Perfect answer. Uh, question number nine. What's the craziest thing you've ever done? Uh, I mean, other than my job? Uh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> like being pro wrestler is pretty crazy. I, I'm kind of a... <laughs> I'm kind of a square man. I'm I I I've, I've never drank. I've never done any drugs. I, I don't like have anything against it. I just have never like been thrilled by by uh, by crazy stuff necessarily. Um, <sighs> craziest thing I've ever done. Or maybe something you would like to do but you haven't. That's like crazy. You know, I'd really like to go skydiving or like um, base jumping that sort of thing. Uh. I'm pretty good friends with PJ Black over in, in Ring of Honor, and, and he's just insane at it. I mean, he, he's always uh, he's always doing stuff like that, and uh, and he's he's very slowly roping me into to oh. committing to trying it one day. Um, but but uh, but I, it's definitely something I would love to do. Um, I don't have a lot of fears in the world, so that it's weird that I'm not like a thrill seeker in that way. I guess I'm just too. <laughs> lazy minded but it is, that is something i would love to do hey you never know leave all the opportunities open we never know we might see you jumping off of a plane it'll be great <laughs> uh question number 10 last one what's your favorite city to wrestle in oh i mean los angeles for sure i mean being at home especially uh you know, having the opportunity over the last few years to do, to be like in the Staples Center, like the Anaheim Ponds, these arenas I grew up watching my heroes in has, has been incredible. I, I always love coming back to L.A. I have a really good connection with um, with, uh, you know, my hometown city. And, and they're great because they're they're very <laughs> the, they'll let you hear it. You know, they don't they don't care how loyal they are to you, which they will always stay loyal to you to a fault, but they'll, they'll let you hear it if they're not happy with you. So I love it there because like the, the love is real. And, um, but I like I like Tokyo a lot. Uh, you know, op opening a tour at Cork and Hall is always a pretty, pretty fun experience. Um, Mexico City would probably be the, my other answer though. Mexico City is amazing. Uh, Arena Mexico is, is my favorite venue probably in the entire world and the culture there um you know, mexican wrestling fans are incredible lucha libre is my favorite culture for wrestling um so i would say mexico city if i had to pick one more domestically i, I might say brooklyn i like i like new york um fans are similar to la they'll let you hear it but uh I get a lot of love from New York fans. Um, um, yeah, no, I get you. Being an LA native, that is like the number one city, <laughs> the best place to perform at, I would say, hands down. Um, <laughs> TJP, honestly, thank you so much for this interview. This has been a whole lot of fun. Just, you know, chatting it up with you about Impact Wrestling and all this other random stuff. But before we go, where can people find you on social media? 
Uh, well, I don't have too terribly much of it, but uh, all of it can be found at Mega TJP. You can find me on Instagram there, uh, Twitter as well, and then my uh, Twitch uh, channel is is coming along slowly but surely. I mean, I've always been on Twitch, but in a very informal way. But um, uh, you can see me streaming a lot lately. So if you have anything that you have requests for for people that have been watching, or if you want to check it out, Twitch.tv slash Mega TJP. Um, you could find, uh, well, I was going to say all my merchandise, but most of my merchandise at Pro Wrestling Tees under TJP. But this one is actually a special collaboration. So if anybody has been looking at this one while we've been talking the last few minutes, you'd have to go to Hustle Clothing, uh, Legal Hustle Clothing. Um, they're a Calgary-based uh, streetwear company. Um, they made this shirt uh, from my new special move, the Mamba Splash. It looks awesome. Kobe. Uh, but yeah, I mean, mega TJP on all my socials is where you can find me. And, uh, and thanks everybody for listening because honestly, without you guys, there's no me. So I appreciate it. 100%. And I'm going to go ahead and add all of those links in the description box. So you guys can check all of that stuff out. But once again, thank you so much to TJP. Do not forget to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel for more. And in the comment section below, let me know what you guys thought of this interview until next time. We'll see you guys later. Bye everyone.